My friend GE is trying to beat Minecraft, but I secretly installed a morph mod that lets me transform into any mutant mob to scare him. This prank is going to be hilarious. I can't wait to see his reaction. And boom, just got in this world, and now I gotta go up to this tree as fast as possible. Looks like GE is starting to beat the game, which means that it's time for us to prank him. I'm just gonna use this morph mod right here and turn into a mutant spider pig and scare him. There we go, we're morphing. And let's just stand right behind him so when he turns around, he gets spooked. All right, now that I have my wood, I have to turn this into a crafting table as fast as possible so I can get myself a pickaxe. He has no idea that we're right behind him. All right, just get that right here and- Oh my, what the heck? And let's just give him a little punch. Okay, so you're not friendly. And let's just keep walking toward him and scare him. Wait, what the heck? Why are you following me? I'm just trying to beat the game. And wait a second, what even are you? It's like a spider and a pig? I've never even seen that before. I guess they added that in the new update. He has no idea that it's actually me behind this mutant spider pig and chasing him. Okay, I don't know what you are, but just leave me alone. I just want to get some wood. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And blocked him off. There we go. Whoa, GE actually kind of outplayed me there, but I think that was a really good first prank anyway. So let's just hide behind this little ledge over here and turn into something else. Hmm, let's see. What should we turn into? Ooh, I have the perfect idea. We could turn into a mutant zombie right now. That would be way crazier than a mutant spider pig. And here we go. We're morphing right now and boom. Oh my goodness. We're actually huge. Look at us. And it looks like GE was able to get a few tools. So now it's the perfect time to give him a little prank. All right. Now that I have a wooden pickaxe, I need to find a cave immediately so I can get upgraded as soon as possible. Wait a second. There's a cave right here. Oh my gosh. This is going to work perfectly. Oh, this is so perfect. He literally went in this little cave here to do some mining. We're just going to stand right at the entrance and wait for him. All right. Get ourselves a crafting table. Get ourselves a stone pickaxe and bam just like that and wait a second there's some iron right here okay i'm definitely gonna go for this let me just get a little bit closer and oh my goodness i can't wait to see his reaction when he comes out of this cave we look so scary and there we go six iron oh my gosh this is definitely gonna be enough to get me an iron pickaxe gee he still didn't see us yet i'm so excited i'm definitely gonna beat the game now let me just get this coal inside of here and then the iron on the top and oh yeah my iron is now smelting. Looks like GE's doing a little bit of smelting. Wait, we should prank him here and break the furnace. Come on, break it. Wait, what the heck? Where did my furnace go? I could have just sworn I put a furnace here. Maybe the item dropped somewhere. Let me give it a look. And oh my gosh, what, <gasps> what the heck is this? Oh my gosh, I don't know what kind of zombie you are, but please just get away from me. Oh, he's so scared right now. Let's just slowly creep toward him. Uh, what are you doing? Get away from me. What the heck? I'm actually so scared right now. And then let's just break some blocks here to scare me even more. Wait, I didn't even know he could break blocks that fast. Oh my gosh, and there goes my crafting table. Look, Mr. Zombie, I don't have much, but I do have an iron ingot if you want it. No way, GE's trying to offer us some items to truce with him. Please, just get away from me. Let's see if GE actually gives us his iron. All right, Mr. Zombie, I don't even know if that's a yes or a no, but I guess I'll give you this ingot. Just please go away from me. Oh my my goodness he actually just gave me the iron ingots but we're not gonna make it easy for him we're still gonna attack him and boom oh my gosh there goes all my health what the heck i thought we had a deal i guess i'll just block you off right here get away from me zombie i don't want to see you ever again oh my goodness he got so scared that he blocked me off with his wooden planks this is hilarious and i just lost so much time on my speeder and how am i ever gonna make it up all right i think we scared him enough for now so i think it's time for us to start helping him out a little bit because we don't want to be too mean and i have the perfect plan to help him out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our morph mod and we're just gonna turn into a parrot and there we go look at us we're a little cute parrot now so let's just go find ge and give him a helping hand and there he is that cave was so scary i'm definitely not going in there again what even was that i've been running into so many weird mobs lately but it doesn't matter if i want to kill the ender dragon i need to find a cave now and fast awesome that's perfect he's gonna do a little bit more mining which means that we can help him place some ores down and get him some better gear. Wait a second. Is that what I think it is? Let's go. I think I just found myself another cave. All right, let's check this place out. Whoa, nice. He found a cave. Now it's time for us to shine. Oh my gosh, there's such a big hole in there. The best part is, is that I'm a parrot and he won't even suspect a thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in our 
inventory here and we're just going to place a bunch of iron ore behind him. Make sure he's not looking and there we go. Let's just place a few over here, over here and let's even put a chunk right here. There we go. And let's see if he notices. Let's just fly in front of his face right here. Yo, what is this parrot doing here? I'm trying to mine some coal right now. Come on, we almost got him. Come on, little parrot. Just go away. I've ran into too many dangerous mobs today. Oh gosh, what if this parrot like bites me or something and I die? Well, I don't think that's ever happened before, but I'm not trying to risk it. No way, guys. We scared GE so much that he even thinks the parrot is evil. But little does he know that we actually helped him out here. So let's just start flying this way and see if he notices. Wait, is there something you want to show me? Oh my gosh, this might be enough for a full set of armor. How did I not notice this? Well, I guess I'll get straight to mining then. Thank you, little parrot. Nice, we were able to get him to notice the iron. And now we're going to help him out even more. Now that he's mining the iron over there, let's go in our inventory and let's just get some diamond ore. Oh my goodness. And let's just go back to the spot that he was originally mining in and just place a whole bunch of diamonds here. Just like that. And there we go. That's perfect. And got it. 22 iron. That is not bad at all. But I guess I'll check out this hole I was looking at earlier. And wait a second. Is that diamond? Nice. He noticed it. What the heck? I was literally just over here. And there's so much in this area as well. Oh my gosh. Four, five, six. This is the most diamonds I've ever had. Oh my goodness. And while he's mining that one, let's just place two more right above him. And there's two more? Oh my goodness. How do I keep missing all these diamonds? And ow, ow, ow. Why is there a spider? Oh no, there's a spider attacking him. We're gonna have to attack the spider with him. Help him out. Help him out. Wait, is the parrot attacking? No way. This is literally the most nice parrot I've ever met in my entire life. All right, that was definitely a really successful mining trip. I'm gonna get to crafting some armor and tools and then I'm gonna go beat the game. And all right, since we've helped him out so much, I think it's time to give him another prank. So while he's over there crafting, we're just gonna come out over here and let's go in our morph mod and let's turn into a mutant creeper. Oh my goodness, he's gonna be so scared. And all right, we're morphing from the parrot into a mutant creeper. Whoa, we're huge. He's gonna be so scared when he's trying to come out of this cave. And also, since we're a mutant creeper, we have unlocked the creeper shard, which means that we can blow up at any time. And let's just do a huge explosion here to get his attention. All right, all my tools are now crafted. That was so good. Let me just get a bit more stone. In three, two, one. Wait, what the... What was that? Hold on, let me go check this out. Oh my goodness, is that a mutant creeper? Oh, he's seen us and he's really scared. As soon as I thought my luck was good. Come on, please. I don't want to get blown up. What the heck? And there's a spider here too. And let's just do another explosion right here. Oh my goodness. I guess that killed the spider, but come on, creeper. Please just get away from me. I've never seen a creeper as big as you before. Oh, he is so scared right now. He has no idea that it's actually me. All right, well, I guess I have these blocks. I'm just gonna block you off. Goodbye, little creeper. I don't want to see you ever again. Oh, he thinks he's so smart by blocking us off, but he forgot that I can make the biggest explosion. So let's just walk up to the wall right here. And there we go. Oh, uh -huh, I guess that wasn't a good idea. All right, plan B, get away from fast oh my goodness all right let's give him one more huge explosion out here and let's just leave him alone after this because i think we scared him a little too much this time oh my gosh i'm so low on health right now but luckily i'm at the surface now so i'm just gonna get away from that cave and hope that never happens again nice we were able to successfully prank him as a mutant creeper that was so good and throughout this video the mobs get crazier and crazier so let's see if we can successfully prank him with those as well but for now we're gonna be nice and we're just gonna turn back into that little innocent parrot and just follow follow him around and there we go now let's go find him oh there he is i'm so glad i'm finally out of that cave that was so scary but at least i have all this armor now right now all i have to do is find a lava pool and then i'll be straight off to the nether but wait i can't seem to find one anywhere this is literally impossible looks like ge thinks he's geared up enough to go to the nether which is gonna be perfect because we have so many mobs in our morph mod that we can use to scare him in the nether so let's just keep following him and see where he makes the portal come on lava pool anywhere oh my gosh i've been looking for this thing forever and i still can't find one at this rate i'm never gonna find it oh no g can't seem to find a lava pool anywhere and i really want to prank him so i guess we're gonna have to help him out and build one for him so let's just go over here while he's looking over there and let's just dig out this area right here just like this and let's just completely fill it with lava almost done and there we go the lava pool is complete let's see if ge notices the burning here i just searched this entire area for a 
lava pool and I still can't find anything. I'm starting to think this might be impossible. Wait a second. Is that the parrot? Yep, that's the parrot. And do you see what's behind the parrot? Oh, I missed you. And wait a second. What's burning over there? Oh gosh, let's hope it's not something bad. And wait a second. That's literally a lava pool. Let's go. Now I can finally get to work on making this portal. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. And me too. I can't wait to be able to prank him in the nether. This is gonna be so good. Come on, gotta go fast. Come on. Oh my gosh, I almost had it there. He's almost done with the portal. Let's go and nice. Now that the portal's made, I gotta go inside this fast because I really want to kill the ender dragon. Come on, parrot. Come with me. Quick, we have to follow him. Oh my gosh, this might be the most lucky spawn ever. I'm right next to a fortress. No way. We actually spawned right next to a fortress. All right, let's just go follow him. Looks like this is my lucky day, little parrot. Now I need to find the blaze spawner and then get some blaze rods. Come on, let's go, let's go. A blaze spawner? Wait, I have the perfect prank for when he's able to find it. I can morph into a mutant blaze and scare him. Mm, it's gotta be here somewhere and there it is. And there's a blaze right there. Let me get right to attacking. All right, while he's fighting those blazes, let's just turn this corner right here and go in our morph mod and let's just turn into a mutant blaze. Here we go. Oh my goodness, this looks so cool. And look at us. We're absolutely massive. Come on, not a single blaze dropped a rod. And I had to attack four of them too. That's actually crazy. All right, it's time to scare him. Let's go. Oh my gosh, there's so much blazes. Come on, surely one of them has to drop a rod, right? And there we go. And here we are. I don't think he notices us yet because there's too many blazes around. Come on, wait a second. What's pulling me in? Oh my goodness gracious. Is that a mutant blaze? Where do all these mutant mobs keep coming from? And wait, why is he pulling me? I'm trying to run away and I literally can't. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Whoa, this is our special ability where we can pull him. Let's just keep dragging him this way and see how scared he gets. Oh, mutant blaze, where are you taking me? Right, let's try and get him in this lava here in the middle. What the heck? Wait, are you trying to pull me in the lava? No, I am not falling in. I refuse. I have to fight this as much as I can. Oh, he's so close to getting in the lava. Hiya, let me try attacking you. Oh my gosh, I'm burning. No. And wait, looks like he got away. Finally, I got away from you. Jeez, the nerve that some of these mobs have. Oh my, that was hilarious. We pranked him so good there. He almost died to the lava. Good thing he didn't though, because there's still some more pranks that I want to pull on him while he's in the nether. Let's turn back into the parrot. There we go. And let's go find GE. Okay, I think I got enough blaze rods. I have to get out of this fortress fast. All right, nice. Looks like he got enough blaze rods so he can continue to beat the game. And also so that I can continue to prank him. I don't know how I keep running into all these mobs. I've never seen them before. I guess it was part of the new update, but man, that must be a lot of mobs to add. And there we go. I guess I'm at the surface now. Time to find a bastion. Oh yeah. Okay, so he's about to go look for a bastion, but before he finds the bastion, he's gonna run into something else. Looks like he doesn't see us right now, so let's just go behind this little ledge over here, and let's go into our morph mod, and oh my goodness, I can't wait. Let's morph into the mutant wither skeleton. Holy, we look so strong. And also, now that we're the wither skeleton, we've unlocked this huge sword. Look how big that thing is. GE's gonna be pooping his pants. All right, now let's just go find him. All right, come on. I can't find this bastion anywhere. And wait, why the heck is there a skeleton here? Come on, let me just get rid of you. There we go. He has no idea that we're currently right behind him. Oh, he's gonna go crazy when he turns around. Let me just get some of this bone block. There we go. And maybe I missed something behind. Hmm, let me go check. What the heck? Oh, he's seen us. Is that a wither skeleton? Oh no, this does not look good. Uh, hey little buddy, where are you going? Uh, come on, we can be friends, right? And just like I said, GE is pooping his pants right now. Oh my gosh, what do I even do? He looks so tall and scary. Maybe if I get on top of this tree, he'll go away. Come on, please. He really just built up on top of the tree to be able to get away from me. That is hilarious. But little does he know, I'm gonna start building as well. Let's just build up. Wait, is he building? Oh, no, 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 no. I cannot be taking any chances right now. Come on, get away from me. Please, 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 please. Oh, he's on the ledge right now. He's probably so scared he's gonna fall. Come on, speed bridge. Come on, come on, come on. And I think I made it, but I still haven't lost him yet. Oh my gosh, is he holding a sword right now? No, 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 no. I cannot die like this. No way. Maybe if I start blocking him away. Oh my gosh. And let's just hit him with our huge sword. Boom! 
boom. Oh no, that hit me back so far and I'm so low on health right now. I think I need to just start booking it right now. What the heck was that? All right, looks like we scared him enough and we can't fit through this hole anyway here. So let's just turn back into the parrot and see where he goes. That might be the scariest skeleton I've ever seen in my entire life. And there he is. Hopefully he doesn't think the skeleton's still chasing after him. Well, I hope he's not still chasing me. That wouldn't be good. And wait, is that a bastion over there? No way he didn't see that. We're gonna have to let him know. And I don't want to push him off this ledge, so we're gonna have to get his attention by following him here. Wait a second. Is that my little parrot friend? Oh, I can't believe you followed me. Oh, you're so cute. And let's just fly over this way. Where are you flying to? Wait a second. Is that a bastion? No way I didn't see that. Oh my gosh. Now I'm definitely gonna beat the game now. Alright, here we are. Next stop, bastion. Let's go. Alright, Piglin, do you want to trade with me? Oh, uh, I guess not. Why are you attacking me? That's so rude. Maybe if I find someone else. Come on. Anyone want to trade? Anyone want to trade? Surely there's got to be someone here, right? Wait, GE's trying to find a Piglin to trade with, and I have the perfect idea. We're just gonna fly over here and make sure he's nowhere in sight. And let's just go into our morph mod and turn into a Piglin. And we're the one that's gonna be trading with him. Alright, let's go find him. Alright, I think there's another Piglin here. Hey there, are you friendly? I want to trade. Oh, I guess he's not friendly. What the heck? Why are you shooting me? Oh, no. None of them want to trade with him. Oh, my goodness. This is bad. I got to run down here and hide. There we go. I think I'm safe for now, but I can't believe no one wanted to trade with me. Let's just jump down here and let's get his attention. And wait a second. There's another piglin right here. Come on. Please tell me you're friendly. All right. Let's just not hit him to make him think we're friendly. Oh, well, I haven't been attacked yet, so I guess that means we're ready to trade. What am I even supposed to give these guys anyways? Come on, GE. You got this. It's obviously gold. Maybe you'll take some iron. Let me just start dropping some to him. There we go. And that is a lot. Hopefully, I'll get some really good stuff. Oh my goodness. He just dropped iron on me. That's not right, GE. It's supposed to be gold. And come on. Where's the stuff? Oh, well, it doesn't seem like he's gonna get it right. So we're just gonna take this iron and we're just gonna give him some trades. All right, let's pretend we're inspecting the iron and let's go on our inventory and let's just grab a whole bunch of ender pearls. And there we go. All for you, GE. Oh my gosh. There's no way I just got a ton of ender pearls in my first trade. This must be my lucky day. Come on, take some more iron. Oh, he's being so nice. I guess we'll be nice as well and complete his diamond set of armor for him. There we go. No freaking way. Now I have a full set of diamond armor thanks to that piglin. Oh my gosh, I'm stacked. Well, that's definitely enough stuff to get me to the end. So let me just start building a portal just like this. And now I'm finally gonna go to the end and beat the game. Oh yeah. Let's just light this up and finally. All right, now that he's back in the overworld, we can turn back into the parrot and just follow him. And oh, looks like we're back. And luckily, I have all these eyes of Ender. And wait a second, is that my little parrot friend? Yep, that's me, GE. I can't believe you were following me this entire time. Aw. But there's no time to waste. I'm gonna throw my first eye of Ender and hopefully we'll get to the stronghold. Come on, please don't break. Please don't break. Okay, good. He's going to the stronghold. Let me keep throwing this. Come on, come on, come on. Aw, it broke. Luckily, I got really lucky while trading and I should be able to make it to the end still. Okay, but where could these ender eyes possibly be taking me? Hopefully, we're almost there. Okay, come on, come on, come on. And wait a second. I think that ender eye just went straight into the ground. Oh my gosh, that must mean the stronghold's here. We found it. All right, I gotta find the portal fast. I'm so close to killing the ender dragon. Come on, almost there. And finally, I made it inside of the stronghold. Let's go. We did it. Now, time for him to find the portal room. Where could this portal possibly be? It's gotta be here somewhere. Maybe down these stairs. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Before GE finds the portal room, I'm gonna morph into a mutant snow golem and give him a few more things before he has to fight the ender dragon. He might be a little scared at first, but once we give him the items, I'm sure he'll lighten up. So let's just go into our morph mod right here and let's turn into a mutant snow golem. And there we go. Wait, we actually look kind of cool. And let's go on our inventory and grab a bow and let's even give him a whole stack of arrows. All right, now it's time to go find him. I'm just gonna turn this corner and there he is. Oh my gosh, I can't find the portal room anywhere. I swear, I looked in every single nook and cranny of this entire place and I still can't find it. Mm, maybe I'll go back. I might have missed something. What the heck? Is that like a snowman? He looks really strong too. Oh, he's seen us and we can't fit through this doorway so let's just break some of the blocks here. Oh my gosh, why is he breaking the blocks? Oh my gosh, I ran into so many mutant mobs. You know what? Come on, just get away from me. Come on, I've been through so much today. Just get away from me. And just to scare him, let's give him a little punch. Oh no, did he just punch me? Please don't 
don't hurt me anymore. I'll give you all my stuff if I have to. Oh my, he got so scared. But it's all right, G. I'm actually here to help you. So let's go in our inventory. Let's just drop him the bow and arrows. Wait, is that a bow and arrow? Oh my gosh, that's gonna help me so much when I beat the Ender Dragon. Yeah, it will. I guess this snowman wasn't so bad after all, but I still have to find the portal room. And while G is looking for the portal room, I just want to let you guys know that this final prank in the end is gonna be absolutely insane. So if you're ready for the final prank, make sure to go in the comments and type hashtag mutant to show that you're ready. And all right, here we go. Let's just turn back into the parrot for now and let's just follow him. Okay, come on, come on, come on. And no way. Finally, I found the portal. I swear this actually took forever. Oh my goodness. Finally, he's about to fight the ender dragon. Let me just break this spawn real quick. And now let's place down the eyes of ender. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm actually so ready for this. And boom. Whoa, it's time. All right, now we can't be wasting any more time. I'm finally gonna jump into the portal and beat the ender dragon. All right, we're finally inside of the end. And oh my gosh, this is a lot bigger than I remember it, but it's okay. Nothing's too big of a challenge. And I see the dragon right there. And before we prank GE, we're gonna actually help him out a bit here. And we're gonna destroy some of these crystals with him. All right, let me just break this crystal. This one as well. And come on, come on, come on. Let's get this one too. Wait a second. It just broke. I swear I just missed that shot. And whatever. It's one step closer to beating the dragon. Oh no, he almost caught us there. That would have been really bad, but I think we're okay. So let's just keep breaking these crystals. All right, all the crystals are finally broken. Now I'm gonna kill this ender dragon. Come on, I already got that bow shot. I'm actually insane at this game. And looks like he's perching. This is my lucky day. Okay, he's fighting the ender dragon now. So now it's time for me to pull the final prank that we've all been waiting for. Let's just go in our morph mod. And oh my goodness, it's time to morph into the mutant enderman. Holy, look at us. We look so scary. GE's gonna be so scared. And also, since this is the final prank i'm just gonna go in my inventory and i'm gonna grab a mutant enderman spawn egg and we're gonna spawn in a whole lot more all right here we go g hasn't seen us yet and let's just start spawning them in all right let me try killing this ender dragon and wait a second what is this oh my he's probably so scared why are all the endermen here so tall maybe it's just a glitch and oh my god okay phew i just landed that and now let's use our special ability and pick up this block and just throw it at him Wait, did that Enderman just pick up a block? Oh my gosh, and I'm blind now. No, 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 no. Let's keep throwing blocks at him. Come on, get away. Oh my gosh, there's no way I die to this. Okay, finally I can run again. He must be so scared right now. This mutant Enderman is on him. Oh my gosh, no. And he died. Looks like the prank worked. And I think we've scared him enough. So before he comes back, let's just go behind this pillar and let's morph into a mutant shulker. But I'll be a friendly one to help him beat the game. I'm sure he'll be super scared of us at first though okay i'm finally back in the end that was so scary i don't even know that was a thing but i guess it makes sense because i've been running into so many mobs lately but it's whatever i just gotta forget about it and let's hit him what the heck wait is that a shulker box it's so huge oh my gosh i knew he would be scared come on please don't hurt me i just want to kill this dragon and be done with this and your wish is my command i'm gonna go in my inventory and i'm gonna grab a netherite sword and start hitting the dragon here all right let's go hit the dragon and let's go we beat the dragon wait a second is the dragon finally dead oh my gosh it looks like i finally beat the game let's go and it's all thanks to this shulker oh yeah and it's time for the reveal let's morph back into bubbles wait a second what's happening to the shulker hey ge wait what bubbles yeah i have something to tell you what do you want to tell me bubbles this whole time i was all of those mutant mobs scaring you and i even was the little parrot wait a second you were trolling me the entire time yeah i was didn't i scare you so bad oh my gosh you really did and just when i thought i had a good run too but i will admit bubbles that was actually a really good troll and you really got me and i guess you helped me beat the game too so there's that yeah i did that was so good for you maybe if you enjoyed this prank video make sure to subscribe and if you want to see another video just like this click the one on screen click it click it bye, bye.